Look what we have going on here. We got a new Mini X operator ready for action. Yep, I'm ready to drive. On today's episode, we have a new Mini X operator and we are gonna teach her how to do a little bit of construction stuff. During this trench project, Elena's given me a hard time about sitting my butt way too many hours in the machine while she does all the hard labor and the shoveling and that sort of stuff. So today we are flipping rolls and I'm gonna teach her how to use the Mini X and see how she does. All right, Miss Operator, are you excited? I am pumped. I'm ready. Let's get it going. How many other girls have ever operated a Mini X before? If you're a girl and you've operated, please put that in the comments. Yeah, uh, I've at least seen it on like that Gold Digger show or whatever. Alaskan Gold Rush. Yeah, that show. First order of business here. The machine will only start when the safety is up. So it's this whole armrest basically comes up and down and to has operate. to be down to operate. All right, so this, this is right. in the right position. Already wrong. <laughs> you have to keep this up when you start it. You have to turn the key all the way. Then when you- Where's the key? It's over there. there. Okay. So then you push this down. Oh, that's how your handles are nice and uh -huh. centered. Yes. Now you're ready to operate. It's going to be. It's but that's be after I turn the key. So after it's running, yes. Okay. All right. So the controls are very simple. These two front sticks and pedals up here, and they're connected, so you can use the stick or the pedal. They control your tracks. So pushing this forward drives the machine forward, which is the blade side. So I actually have the forward end of the machine pointing that way. Okay. So if you want to go up the hill, you're actually going to pull these back towards okay. you. And of course, you know, it's just like a zero turn lawnmower. This operates the left track, this is the right. So if you want to turn, you operate these just slightly independently. Okay. Um, you don't want to do like zero turns so, on our driveway though. Next, we got our, well, the next one is easy. Well, you, you shouldn't need to use this, but the blade is this handle right there. So you pull that up and you pull the blade up. You push it down, you push the handle, you push the blade down into the ground. Got it. The harder part is your boom controls here. So each one of these are four ways. So forward, back, side to side. This left stick here, uh, side to side is your swing. So it, it, the whole upper carriage of the machine will swing. And the forward is the boom. So it's this big main portion here. It's, it's called, there's the boom and the stick. The, the boom is this big main portion and the stick is what goes between the bucket and the boom. So this controls your boom up down. And this is how I think of this um, when, when, when I'm operating. Well, it's kind of second nature now, but when I'm operating, whenever you're pushing on this, you're pushing the boom down into the ground. When you're pulling up on this, you're picking, you're pulling the boom up. And the same goes for the stick over here. This is your stick and your bucket control. Forward and back is your stick control. When you push this forward, you're pushing the stick away from you. When you're pulling this back towards you, you're pulling the stick towards you. And then the same sort of thing with the bucket. But how do I get to the bucket and not the stick? So the bucket is left and right. Oh, okay. Going out is basically what's, it goes like this. So it dumps the bucket. So when I, when I think of this, when I'm pushing out towards the machine, I'm pushing the dirt away, or I'm trying to get the dirt away, I'm dumping. When you go this way, you're curling the bucket. So when I pull towards me in, in this way, I'm doing a curl. I'm, I'm pulling the, I'm pulling the dirt towards me. So again, this will be much more clear when you actually start playing around with it. Yeah. That's really the best way to learn. It's, okay. It's Do I have to press start. these gray things? So that's the horn. Oh. <laughs> I accidentally hit that the other day. This button here is the auxiliary. So that, that other pedal down here, that's your auxiliary hydraulics. You can see the, the, the hoses at the end of the boom. Um, you can run like a thumb with that, or oh. you can run so like we don't have a jackhammer. So we don't have anything, but if you want to turn the boom relative to the swing arm, this machine has the capability to do that. All you do is hold this button in and then you can use the pedal and it will do that function. It will go boom back Boom relative to the what? You should just need the, the regular four controls, no buttons or anything, and then these are to move the tracks. Okay. That should be the main thing you're worried about. Let's see how she does. She started it. Yep, so then you push that down. Is that far enough? No, all the way down. There you go. You might need to give it a little bit more throttle. That's good for now. How do I, I gotta lift it up first, right? Yep, so just, just play with the controls and just kind of just see what you're doing for a little bit. Okay, how do I get it up? Which one? Left. She's getting the hang of it. You're scared. 
I don't want to fall in the trash. You're not going to fall in. Oh god. I don't like that. Ah. Remember, slow and steady wins the race. Slow is smooth, smooth is fast. It doesn't want to go down anymore. Right, it doesn't need to. Remember, just pull it towards you now. Oh. Object here being to fill this dirt, this trench back in with dirt. Look at that focus. I don't think I'm doing very good. Oh, wrong way. Immense focus. You go, girl. Is that good? You go, yep. Should I move over? Just a little bit. Oh, that's a lot more. Alright, that's good. Rake it in, rake it in. What? Rake it. Yeah, you get your bucket way out here. Way out here. There you go. Basically a professional. Not bad, not bad. First time traveling. Let's see if you can do it. What do I do? Remember. Towards me? Yep. After just a little bit of practice, she picked it right up. As Elena pulled more backfill into the trench, I followed behind with the shovel to smooth it out and pull out the rocks. Post-race interview, what do you think? Post-race, it was a lot of fun. I can definitely see myself operating this throughout the project and throughout my lifetime because it's like operating a machine, toy, I don't know, it's fun. It's a big claw machine. Yep, it's but it is, you do get cold because it's cold outside and you're not moving around so much, so I had to grab my jacket. Got our next operator in town, in training. Woo! Not that I can really judge, I've only had about two or three days of runtime on this machine myself, but I think she is turning out to be a fine operator. Not only can she make a mean pumpkin bread, but she can operate a mini X. And should we try operating the jumping jack tamper? Uh, no, but I will try the skid steer. Skid steer is next on the plate. Don't forget to like and subscribe so you get notified when we break ground in just about one week. Are we in over our heads? Only one way to find out.